Hi everyone, today we are here with another role play. <laughs> so this role play is about a bystander of a patient who had broken his arm. And uh, the bystander here is very reluctant because they have been waiting here for almost an hour and... Uh, Nobody is attending yes. to his uh, friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, the friend is the one who has broken his hand, hand. and the bystander is a little bit... Uh, you know, angry has taken and angry and, and mm -hmm. not only really angry, he has taken alcohol. Yes. This role play card is going to be a lot of twist mm -hmm. because uh, it's not like as usual as always you see. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to break up the suspense. Yeah. So you just see our role play and then you see how it is being dealt. Yes. And then we'll come up with an explanation for that. Okay. All right. All right, we'll start the role play. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Tina Thomas and I'm the registered nurse working in this emergency department. And uh, I see you have come with your friend. Yes. And mm -hmm. where were you till now? I was here, sir. We've been waiting here for almost an hour. Mm -hmm. Nobody is attending my friend. Okay. I think he has broken his arm. Mm -hmm. What if something happens to him? I certainly understand what you're going through and you being his friend and seeing your friend's arm being broken. Yeah. I think it's broken. I don't know. We have to examine it. So it's it's a different situation. I do understand that. But if you could relax, I could help you out furthermore. If you don't mind me asking some See, questions. I'm angry because those who have come after us mm -hmm. had already seen the doctor. Yeah, I do understand But that. we have been waiting here for mm -hmm. a, lot a lot of time. time. See, this is not a small thing. He might have broken his arm. Mm -hmm. What if something will happen to him, his arm? Uh, I Who will be responsible? Don't worry. First and foremost, could you please tell me your name? Oh yeah, my name is Thomas. Okay, Thomas. And could you please tell me your friend's name? His name is Philip. Philip, okay. Thomas, first I try to understand. This is an emergency department. And we select patients based on the priority. Okay. So how we take the patients is sometimes we get a major emergency case like heart attack. Have you heard about heart attack in the? Yes. Heart attack, maybe severe bleeding, poisoning, all those things. We take them first. And this is a broken arm. We do understand. And he's very important. Your friend Philip is very important for us. So as we are taking patients based on priority, that is the reason why it was a little delayed. See? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to know about others. Mm -hmm. We are also paying taxes. I do understand that. So, I, I don't ask, I didn't ask you to take us or let us go inside first. Mm -hmm. okay. When it came to our turn, you should have let us in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that person, he had come, I think, 20 minutes after us, but yeah. he had already seen the doctor. Yeah, the thing is, that's what I was telling. Here, we do something called a stretch. Based on the priority, based on the patient's need, we take them in first. It's not on the time of arrival, okay? And moreover, today we are having less staff and the doctors are seeing patients quickly and getting things done based on their, um, based on their treatment, okay? So that's what we are doing now. So please try to understand, Thomas. And moreover, when you are raising your voice, it is disturbing other patients also. I, I so, don't care all that. Mm -hmm. When will you let us see the no, doctor? That, we are going to see uh, we are going to see the doctor that's why i have taken him to see an assessment like how he's doing because already the trial see, you has just call the doctor or mm -hmm. I, or else i'll make a lot of trouble here uh, i'm going to make trouble uh, here. the thing is um, thomas if you don't mind me ask you a question have you taken anything any alcohol or something uh, yes so yes the thing is uh, see i'm not the patient he's the patient uh, i don't know that but you are the bystander right yeah and alcohol consumption and people who have taken alcohol are not uh, permitted around the hospital premises so, you're asking me to leave uh, i'm not asking you to leave there's a visitor's uh, desk over there why don't you sit over there no i can't leave him over here don't worry we are there to take care of him oh, i've seen the care Please. We, the thing is, we are arranging the patient based on the priority and we are providing care. And I, let me tell you, Thomas, you don't need to worry at all. We are here to help you out. See, even if it is a little late, also we have taken Philip in to do the treatment, right? So that is what most important is, right? You, are, you can understand what the situation is going on, right? Okay. Okay. And uh, if you want, I can give you, make some arrangements for you to go home. 
I don't want to go home. Okay. I will be with him. Okay. And uh, you're saying that you're going to be here and you're going to make noise again? Yeah. If something happens to him yeah. or if you uh, delay the consultation with the doctor, I'll definitely make a lot of trouble. Then I'm extremely sorry to say that if you are going to make any, you know, if you're going to make any trouble or something like that, I'll have to call the security. I'm extremely sorry for saying all this, but uh, you're threatening me. I'm not threatening you, but I'm telling you the consequences that we are that you're going to face, uh, because because this is a hospital and there are a lot of patients who are coming over here, and they all are very fragile now, and especially when you are going to raise your voice and if you're going to yell and shout over here, what happens is they also get very offended. And I, as I told you earlier, we take patients based on the priority that is based on their needs. As as you said, Philip is very important for us. That's why we have taken Philip right now. And we are going to take care of him. So till then, if you want, I can make you make an arrangement for you to go home. And no, I'll wait in the visiting area. Okay, then then thank you so much for understanding to the situation, Thomas. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we are with our explanation. explanation. So what do you understand from this role play? Mm -hmm. Right. So from this role play, actually, the patient or the interlocutor acts as an bystander. bystander. Yeah. And the patient is actually invisible. Yeah. Right. So the main uh, thing behind this topic is that the ward or the emergency department mm -hmm. is pretty crowded. Mm -hmm. There is staff shortage yeah. and the patients are taken based on triage. Yeah. So triage is something based on the priority wise we take the mm -hmm. patient. Okay. The so seriousness of them. Based on the seriousness, yes. So based on the patient's need, we take yeah. them in and not at the time they reach. Mm -hmm. So this bystander was pretty much angry, stating that he came before another patient and that patient was called in first. Yeah. So the nurse is trying to, you know, make him understand. And in the task, it is said, a lot of things are said from the nurse's task, mm -hmm. saying that you should not make noise. You can't use unpolite words to the patient. We all know that, right? So I'm extremely sorry to say that you're causing a little bit or you're mm -hmm. making a lot of noise and it is go it is disturbing the other patients. Mm -hmm. You can say something like that, right? So you need to make things more clear in a very polite manner. Yeah. And when the patient is trying to threaten, not patient, when the bystander is trying to threaten right, yeah. you, there's again the task mm -hmm. that you will call the security. Yeah. But anything that you talk, you need to talk it in a very polite manner mm -hmm. and that's very, very necessary. Yes. So these are some of the important things that we wish to tell mm -hmm. because we can go in for an argument. Mm -hmm. Who is assessing you? The third person or the assessor is assessing you, right? So somebody who's listening to your recording is assessing you. So when they assess you, they should not think that you guys are fighting. Yeah. Let the interlocutor who's acting as a mm -hmm. bystander fight, but you need to keep your pace. So yeah. this is what I would like to convey to you all in this role play, right? So keep up to your pace and talk. Mm -hmm.